So, the menu was directed by Mark Mylod and it stars Anya Taylor-Joy, Ray Fiennes, Nicholas Holt, Hong Chow, John Leguizamo, Janet McTeer. And it's about this group of people, this group of very wealthy people, who wind up going to this very exclusive restaurant. It has its own island. It has its own people living on its, on its island. And basically, the restaurant is doing a lot of really crazy things that have the customers going, wait, what's going on here? Why are we actually brought here? What's actually happening here? So I remember seeing the trailer for this movie and thinking, that looks interesting. I'm kind of a fan of dark comedies in general. We've been getting a lot of dark comedies this year. We got The Menu, uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, uh, Banshee the Vivid Sheeran, which I'll talk about in another video. And, you know, I saw the trailer. It looked kind of fun. It kind of also looked like a mixture between uh, Ready or Not and Midsommar because it had that, uh, you see in the trailer, it's kind of the awkward relationship between the two lead characters and also this whole satire about how it's like oh it's us versus them kind of mentality which i got from ready or not and yeah that movie's yeah the menu is basically that except it's also just mainly its own thing it kind of borrows from those but it's its own thing it's really twisted it's dark it's funny and i honestly would recommend this movie so what really worked with this movie well the performances in this movie are incredible uh anya taylor joy she's really good in this movie this may be the best i've probably seen her in uh, also, Ray Fiennes is also really good. You know, when you need to cast a villain for your movie, you, you go with Voldemort or the Nazi from Schindler's List. And this may be his funniest villain, definitely. Like, he is so petty and so dry, and it's just so funny kind of seeing him, like, kind of, like, go through his um, explanations as to why some of these people are here. That is really funny. Um, also, Nicholas Holt is really good in this movie as this complete and total idiot who... He acts like this big foodie. He thinks he does things really well. And then you kind of see, like, later on, he may be just full of it. And I thought he did a really good job in the movie as well. Uh, Hong Chao also, I thought she did a really good job in this movie, too. I, I remember seeing her in Downsizing. Didn't really like her character in that movie. Here, I actually did like her character. Her character, a lot, there's a lot of dry humor throughout this movie. And I thought it was really good. I thought it was really effective. Really dark as well. I thought that was also really good. As far as other performances go, there's not as many performances that are as good as those four that I mentioned. Uh, Janet McTeer does an all right job. Uh, John Linguizamo does an all right job. But overall, it's mainly those four. Anya Taylor-Joy, Ray Fiennes, Hong Chow, and Nicholas Holt. And again, this movie is hilarious. I laughed a lot throughout this entire movie. I love the structure of this movie that kind of like gets more absurd and just more ridiculous throughout this movie. And I just love its humor throughout this movie. It's just hilarious, in my opinion. And also, even though I kind of predicted, like, a lot of things that were going to happen in this movie, this movie still surprised me constantly. I was really glad when I knew, didn't know something going into it, and then, like, then I figure out... Like, I love how this movie kind of constantly changes throughout the entire movie. And that, you know, if you think it's going to go in one direction, and then all of a sudden, no, it's going to go into this completely different direction that you just didn't expect. And that's what I really liked about this movie, too. I didn't see a lot of it coming, and I'm just really glad I didn't look up anything before this movie. So, is there anything I don't really like in this movie? Well, admittedly, there are a few plot points which I felt like could have been explored a little bit more, but instead they're just kind of dropped. Like, this whole thing with uh, Hong Chao's character towards, towards the end of the movie, where it's like, it just didn't really add up, it didn't really go into it at all. Also... They kind of don't really explain, like, why some of these people are here. They only give, like, allusions to it. And it's like, maybe you could explore it just a little bit more other than just simply saying, oh, this is what you kind of did. And, yeah, that's why you're really here. I felt like the movie could have explored that a little bit more. And also, I feel like some of the punishments for some of these characters just didn't match. Like, like, like I'm not going to go into detail or anything, but I feel like some people didn't get off, like as much as they should. Like, some of these people are kind of awful, admittedly. There are a couple where it's like, you're not that bad, so why does this happen to you? It just didn't really make sense. And also, I kind of felt mixed about the whole satire, because the movie's about how it, it kind of shows about... How do I explain this without spoiling it? Basically, it goes on about, you know, artistic films and mainstream movies, and there's definitely a difference between the two and it just felt like it was kind of odd to make comments about movies that try to be artistic in a movie that's trying to be better 
than like your typical mainstream movie in a sense. Like a movie that's just trying to be a little artistic in a way. It felt odd that I was like, you're commenting about like how, you know, filmmaking is like an art and at the same time it's like, it can be pretentious and it's okay for people to like that. And you're aware it's not for everyone. But you're doing it in a movie that is admittedly trying to be a little more pretentious than your average blockbuster. I felt that was a little uneven at times, and I felt like, again, it could have been explored better, but then again, maybe I didn't explain it well. You'll know it when you see the movie, but I still would recommend this movie. The performances are great, the style of the movie is great, the humor is incredible. I laughed a lot, even though I kind of had some problems with the plot points in this movie and the overall theme. I would still recommend seeing this. This is a really funny movie. I'll give the menu uh, three out of four stars. See it. So, what's, what's your favorite comedy of this year? Comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat. Stay safe.